Okay, I think we're going to dig out this whole area down here. It should be good. That's going to be one giant storeroom, basically, along with uh, some underground farms, probably over here. Uh, let's take out this area, going over here. And this is going to be just a giant storeroom for everything. Eh, might turn it into bedrooms later on. I don't know. We'll see. Go, boys, go! Uh, as for this, we are actually going to remove the designations on all these spots here. All of our farms, all of our yak, everything. I go ahead and build me furniture... Where is it? Trough. Trough. There we go. They'll move the yaks, and they'll move all the farms over there. Uh, and we can get the guys to forage, all of this stuff down. And then we're going to move the storerooms down below as well. Is this a little big for a storeroom? I think it's okay. And we'll start replacing things as we go along. But first, we're going to make sure everything is set up pretty. I like to find a halfway point between function and form where even if it looks hideous like if it were if it looks hideous I'm not going to enjoy it as much as if it works efficiently. For me it's all about efficiency, but that's just me. I'm American and that's just the way I think. Hmm. Hello. Those weren't done right. Wow, that was done completely wrong. Hmm. Eh, we can... We can dig into these areas anyway. If it looks good, but doesn't work at all, then it's worthless. Yes, I completely agree with that. But nothing says it can't do both. Should I just empty out this whole space? Yeah, why not? The moat's gonna go on the outside of it. Should be good, should be fine. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Except for right here, I need to fill in this space. It'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be just fine. Okay, okay. It'll be just a giant ass storage area.
Whee! Look at him go! Just be a giant ass underground storage area. It's gonna be fantastic. Okay, all of that's done up. We're just gonna wait for this to grow and then we'll pull that up too. And then the rest of this will just go down. That's the plan. The storage area will soon be moved. This is all gonna be storage. Like, I don't even know why it has to be so big, but god damn it, it's gonna be enormous. It's also gonna be dirt golems very soon. I bet he loves his job. I know if I were him, I'd love my job. Alright, they're using the underground passageways. Fantastic. Everybody's working good. They're using their skull helmets, too. Quiver and arrows are good. Uh, we're running out of rocks, eh? Hey. To me, it looks like the makings of an underground farm. Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. I have different plans for an underground farm. Plus, I like... I like keeping a separator between all of my places. You know, all my farms and whatnot. Like I said, there's no, there's nothing saying it can't function and look good. And it can look incompletely organized. That's, that's, that's my plan. Okay. The foundations are done, which means we can start taking down this if we really want. We'll probably move the loom and the tailor first. So... Let's move our cloth makers first. Loom. Tailor. Do do do. Deconstruct, deconstruct. And then probably leather worker next. And then the bone carver, which could be in the middle. I don't know if this is a uh, whatever. Um, hmm. Let's 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 check some numbers here. So there's there. Okay, so uh, eh, 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 eh. Oh, there's like no space in the middle. What? What? Oh God, it hurts. That means it could be two in the middle there. Okay. It works. Fuck it. <laughs> okay, deconstruct the leather worker and uh, the bone carver. And I believe next will be butcher. And then we'll get to those mm. when everything else is done. Although, hmm, my pioneers are sleeping. Never mind. Oh, my pioneers! I need to make sure farming is about workshop. It is not. Well, farming is about building. That's what I needed. Yeah, that that works. Come on. There we go. Wow, did they already finish the walls? No, they didn't finish the walls. It's almost done, though. Nearly there. Do want these walls to start moving in as well? 
to about to cover this. It's going to look a little odd for a bit. Um, but th there's, there's a plan. There's a plan. I promise. <laughs> Actually, I think I kind of fucked it up. Oh well. well, we'll work with it, we'll work with it. And I'm gonna use stone walls with arrow slits here. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a plan. There's definitely a plan. I just have to remake the plan. I messed up on these corners. Not a big deal. Good, looks like they're finally working on the workshops. Excellent. I'm gonna change my tracked items. I'm gonna bring back the blocks tracked items. I wanna keep, oop, oh, hello caps. <laughs> Goods, stone, block. Okay, I'm gonna bring that back up. Move you down. Move arrows up, just keep track of that. There we go, now I can track of both of them. Yeah, we're really low on blocks, but we got plenty of rocks. So I'm not too worried about it at the moment. I want to make basically like little houses, little huts for, oh shit. <laughs> Fuck, what was that? That was, that was the loom. Yeah. I want to make little houses for each one of these things. Um, just because it looks pretty to me. Those two will have to be together for spacing. Uh, then we're gonna have, yeah, we're gonna have to take this down. Okay, um, and so there's there, there is a plan. There's a plan. I promise. <laughs> Shit, I just I messed up on these corners really bad. Fuck. Hmm. Oh well. I'll figure it out. Doesn't need to be perfect at the moment. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Oh. Um. Huh. Okay, apparently the sidewalls don't work for that. Um, actually, in that case, I might need to move some things around. Now we're going to have a uh, kitchen distillery. Huh. Butchery. I guess the loom doesn't need to be here. No, we're going to have a kitchen here. Um, it'll work, it'll work. But we do need to deconstruct these cornerstones because they are in the wrong place. And then cancel these blocks. There's a plan. <laughs> I promise. I'm not just making this up as I go along. Well, okay. There's not a plan. There's a goal. <laughs> and I am making it up as I go along.
I'm probably going to replace all this with stone. I don't know why I'm making it a uniform color. I think it's just habit. To get rid of clay at this point. My farmers are not working very hard in these fields. Let's uh, suspend this one though, which is gonna be herb. Which comes out as herp. I don't know why. That's gonna be wheat, that's gonna be cotton. That's gonna be, wait, that whole thing's gonna be cotton, okay. Um, you know what, let's, uh, let's set wheat to be a higher priority. I kind of worry that I'm not going to have enough food, you know? I mean, if I need to, I can <clears throat> I can do oranges for my gnomes, but like the, the, the yaks need food. Luckily, though, they don't need water, you know? Could be worse. I'm basically making every single one of the little workspaces uh, their own log cabin. It's kind of silly, <laughs> but I like it. Okay, that set to always have at least 32 bolts of cloth. Um, this is totally going to be golems. <laughs> uh, palisades would probably look cooler inside the fort? Nah. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of I like the log cabin look. The palisades, I don't really like how they look, honestly. Um... We really need to clean out the inside of here. <laughs> so let's, uh, well, things can just keep going. Let's, however, suspend the building of the walls for just a tiny bit. Well, the top walls. The actual walls themselves can continue. And that way when they're done with that, they'll start working on cleaning the downstairs. Because it is important to have a play, have a way to funnel them. Eventually they'll get to work down here. And then I can get torches down there too. Uh, rocks were fine. Blocks, somebody's at least working on blocks all the time. Good, these are getting worked on. Uh, we want to set back up this. So let's set that back up, make sure we have at least 32 bandages. Uh, do not accept generator jobs. Um, we have sacks already. String, eight. Padding, four, uh, and then back to bandages, 64. Asbestos, weird. The butchery's done. Well, let's uh, go here. Um, we already got all the quivers we need. We can probably start working on making a... Uh, actual leather armor, but we don't need it yet. The butchery, though, uh, we always want to be a pretty high priority, and butcher excess livestock and corpses. I need to check something here. 
So sawmill, uh, we're not going to actually put sawmills down. This is just checking spacing. Oh, perfect spacing. Okay, cool. We are going to put the sawmill closer to the front door, though, because it needs to be nearer to where the logs are coming. There we go. And the carpenter can go right by it. And we can take down these. Oh, what did I say? What did I fucking say? Oh, god damn it. Okay, there's only two. There's only two. It could be much worse. Why is there so few people attacking these? Where is everybody? My are just, of course, running out to get arrows. The small quivers can only hold 16 arrows at a time, so they fire their load and just go. Let's, uh, really quick check on the combat to see if the arrows are actually even fucking hurting them. Uh, kick, 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 bash, swing, bash, swing, punches, kicks, kick, swing, bash, bites, shoots! Stopping at the body. Shit. The archers aren't even hurting them. Should be okay. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Um, just uh, really quick. Let's let's have the archers just drop their short bow. <laughs> God damn it! Go punch them. Go punch them, archers. Why are you still shooting? Why are you guys still shooting? God damn it, they never listen. They're not supposed to be holding anything right now, and the archers just aren't listening. There's like, no, my arrows can hurt them! I know it! God damn it. Okay, these archers are like, bound and determined. Uh, why are they still in avoid enemies? These archers are bound and determined to shoot these to, to shoot these guys. In fact, so much that they're going to refill their ammo. Come on. One of them has got to die eventually. Now, it, uh, oh my god! If you go to attack that bear, I will punch you myself. Thank you. We do not need to kill the bear right now. No, everybody, attack this golem. Now they're punching it. Okay, that's finally fucking done. Okay, let's give the archers back their blows. Since the bows are exceptionally useful against the Fire Nation. <coughs> They'll pick them up eventually. And while we're at it, let's check the combat log. We didn't check the combat log last time. So. Come on. Binus kicks the Dargolem hitting the upper body and crushing the body. The whole body. Go Binus. Zorin bites the Dargolem. Doing no damage. Okay, for the other group fight, can we can we look at the other one? There we go. Beakador punches the Dirt Golem, hitting the lower body and stopping at the body. Binus kicks the Dirt Golem. Oh, man. Like, it's it's only giving me, like, one of the fights. Okay, we've only got... Okay, so Binus killed that one. Wait, wait, there it was. There it was. I saw it. Come on. Where was it? I saw it. I know I did. Can we expand this window? We can't. I know I saw it. Wait, right, there it was. God damn it.
Come on. Come on, show me the money. There we go. Beekator kicks the Dragolum hitting the upper body and crushing the body. Okay. So Beekator and Binus are our heroes today. Uh, let's go look and see if we can find the combat. Uh, it's a skeleton. There we go. Beekator kills that fire goblin. The other one, Falco, bashes with the pine shield to kill the other one. And before that, it was just a skeleton fight. Whatever, whatever, okay, fine. So nobody who's been named yet has gotten a kill. <clears throat> but we're optimistic. Seriously, you guys, is anybody gonna actually, like, you know, clean it? Clean this shit up? No? Oh. That's... That's enemy music. That's enemy music. Was that for the enemies that we just killed, or... Nope, there they are. They tunneled in. There's four of them. Um, they're not attacking, though. They're just sort of wandering about. I don't know... Did my guys actually pick up the bows? No, they didn't. Of course they didn't. But we'll send in the knights first. Against this fighter here. And then we'll send in everybody else once they've got their attention. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. <coughs> yes, I know. Now all squads. Now that the knights are there taking the brunt of their attack. Everybody else can pile in. Oh, I probably should have let the... Oh yeah, go hit him with the stone chair. I'm sure that'll do a ton of damage. You jackass. Okay, one down. And it looks like the other one ran. He scarpered. Well. Head and deconstruct that, and for fuck's sake, don't attack the bear. Is somebody still bleeding? Oh my god, we're out of bandages. This is like top priority. Please say that you're not making string. Somebody make the bandage. We do not want him to bleed to death. That is, who is that? That is Zalaro! Let's make Zalaro bandages! Don't die, Zalaro! Yes! What? No! Wait, what? Okay, Oodle has bled to death. Zalaro still bleeding, I think. Why nobody was uh, making bandages, I don't know. Zalaro is still bleeding. Make bandages. Do nothing but make bandages. Zalaro, don't die. There we go. Function for- Shut up! You know, screw you. <laughs> it works fine. We just had a tiny mishap, that's all. No, you're fine, you're fine. Oodle died. It was just Oodle. It was just Oodle that died. We need somebody to replace Oodle. Uh, let's find something good. Falco actually gotten killed. So is Beekator. Good fighting on Beekator. Holy shit, look at that fighting. Beekator, you're you're now a knight. Uh, what about archers? Who do we got here? Oh, god damn it. That's fine. Damn near killed. I see. You take it back. You take it back. Okay, we lost one person. Which, considering this was the second season of fighting, I'm okay with. 